Ever wondered if we're alone in this vast universe? The cosmos is a grand stage with countless stars, galaxies, and potentially life. However, what if the circumstances for complex life are so specific, so incredibly precise, that they could only happen on a planet exactly like Earth? It's a provocative thought, isn't it? This is the essence of the rare Earth hypothesis, a theory that delves into the extraordinary conditions required for life to exist. Today we explore the rare earth hypothesis which might just answer this question. The rare earth hypothesis isn't your everyday science talk. It's a fascinating proposition that argues the emergence of complex life is not just a simple roll of the cosmic dice. Rather, it's a high-stakes game that requires a perfect alignment of many fortuitous circumstances. Imagine the universe as an intricate puzzle. Each piece represents a specific condition, all of which must flawlessly interlock to create a picture of life as we know it. The first piece of this puzzle is the galactic habitable zone. This is the Goldilocks region within a galaxy not too close but not too far from the galactic center, where conditions might just be right for life to form. The second piece is a central star and planetary system with the right character. This includes a circumstellar habitable zone, the region around a star where conditions could allow liquid water to exist on a planet's surface, a key ingredient for life as we understand it. The puzzle grows more complex with the addition of a terrestrial planet of the right mass and the protective influence of one or more gas giant guardians, much like our own Jupiter, shielding the planet from frequent impact events. And it doesn't stop there. The planet needs a magnetosphere to protect it from harmful cosmic radiation and plate tectonics to recycle carbon and maintain a stable climate. The chemistry of the planet's lithosphere, atmosphere, and oceans also needs to be just right. Even then, we're not done. There's the influence of periodic evolutionary pumps like massive glaciations and bolide impacts which can cause mass extinctions and spur new life. And let's not forget the factors that led to the emergence of eukaryotic cells, sexual reproduction, and the Cambrian explosion of animal, plant, and fungi phyla. Lastly, the evolution of human beings and human intelligence may have required yet more specific events and circumstances, all of which are extremely unlikely to have happened were it not for the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event 66 million years ago. So, it's not just about being in the right place at the right time, but also having the right conditions. The rare earth hypothesis posits that the universe might be teeming with simple life, but complex life that might just be a rarity. Imagine a zone in the galaxy that's just right for life. Yes, you heard that right. A Goldilocks zone on a galactic scale dubbed the Galactic Habitable Zone. This is a region in a galaxy where the conditions are just right for complex life to possibly emerge and evolve. But what makes this galactic zone so habitable? Firstly, let's talk about distance. The Galactic Habitable Zone is characterized primarily by its distance from the galactic center. As that distance increases, the metallicity of stars declines. Now when we say metals in astronomy, we're referring to all elements other than hydrogen and helium. These metals are crucial for the formation of terrestrial or rocky planets, the kind of planets that could potentially host complex life. Next, we need to consider the dangers lurking in the galaxy. The X-ray and gamma-ray radiation from the black hole at the galactic center and from nearby neutron stars becomes less intense as distance increases, so regions of the galaxy where stellar density is high and supernovae are common are essentially dead zones for complex life. Additionally, the risk of gravitational perturbations of planets and planetesimals by nearby stars is lessened as the density of stars decreases. This means that the further a planet lies from the galactic center or a spiral arm, the less likely it is to be struck by a large bolide or asteroid which could potentially extinguish all complex life on a planet. But it's not just about where you are. It's also about how long you stay there. A habitable planetary system must maintain its favorable location long enough for complex life to evolve. A star with a nearly circular galactic orbit is less likely to pass through unfavorable regions of high star density. This is the galactic habitable zone, a sweet spot in the cosmos, a perfect blend of the right elements, safe distances, and stable orbits. It's a zone that could potentially host the rarest of all things, complex, perhaps even intelligent life. And it's within this zone that our own little corner of the universe, Earth, resides. That's the galactic habitable zone, a sweet spot in the cosmos. Ever thought why Earth is so special? 
It's not just about being in the right place at the right time, it's also about being the right kind of place. Let's talk about terrestrial planets. These are the rocky, dense planets in our solar system, like Earth, Mars, Venus, and Mercury. The mass of these planets plays a critical role in the development and sustenance of complex life. You see, a planet needs to be of just the right mass to retain an atmosphere. Too small, like Mars, and it can't hold on to its atmosphere, leaving the surface exposed to the harshness of space. Too large, like Jupiter or Saturn, and the planet becomes a gas giant, lacking a solid surface for life to gain a foothold. And then there's the role of gas giant guardians. Our solar system's largest planet, Jupiter, acts like a cosmic vacuum cleaner. Its immense gravity attracts and captures many of the comets and asteroids that could potentially slam into Earth. Without this gas giant acting as a shield, life on Earth would be a much more precarious proposition due to frequent catastrophic impact events. But there's more to it. The presence of a large natural satellite like our moon stabilizes the tilt of our planet's axis. This stability results in a relatively mild climate over geological timescales which is conducive to the development and survival of life. Furthermore, the moon is thought to have been instrumental in the stirring of Earth's oceans in its early history, promoting the chemical reactions that led to the origin of life. In essence, the right size of the planet, the protective role of gas giants, and the stabilizing influence of a large moon are all part of the unique set of circumstances that make our Earth suitable for life as we know it. Complex life, it seems, is a bit picky about where it sets up shop. Our Earth, with its terrestrial character, gas giant guardian and large moon, has provided just the right conditions for life to flourish. It's not just about location, but also about what's in the ground and in the air. The birth of complex life is a chemistry experiment of epic proportions with the right elements needing to be present in just the right quantities. Even beyond the need for a terrestrial planet in a galactic habitable zone, the chemical makeup of that planet is crucial. Imagine Earth's lithosphere, atmosphere, and oceans as a cosmic cooking pot. The ingredients? Elements like carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. These elements form the backbone of life as we know it and their availability in the right proportions is essential. The Earth's unique chemical composition has allowed for the development and evolution of complex organisms, but this might not be the case everywhere. The importance of chemistry extends beyond the ground and into the air. The Earth's atmosphere, largely composed of nitrogen and oxygen, plays a vital role in protecting life from harmful solar radiation and maintaining a stable climate. It's not just about having an atmosphere, but having an atmosphere with the right composition. But life also needs a nudge now and then, something to stir the pot and keep evolution moving. That's where evolutionary pumps come in. These are cataclysmic events, such as massive glaciations or bolide impacts that cause mass extinctions, reshaping the landscape of life on a planet. They serve as catalysts for evolutionary change, opening up new niches for life to expand into and driving the development of new species. The emergence of eukaryotic cells, the Cambrian explosion of animal, plant, and fungi, phyla, and even the evolution of human intelligence can be traced back to these evolutionary pumps. They serve as reminders of the dynamic, ever-changing nature of life's journey on Earth. So while the universe may be teeming with terrestrial planets, only a select few may have the right chemical conditions and evolutionary catalysts to foster complex life. It's a complex recipe and Earth seems to have gotten it just right. So, what does this mean for our search for extraterrestrial life? That's the question we're left grappling with after delving into the rare Earth hypothesis. After all, it paints a picture of our universe where the conditions for complex life are not just rare, but incredibly specific. The hypothesis argues that the precise alignment of numerous factors are needed to support complex life. From the right kind of galaxy to the right kind of star, the right kind of planet, and even the right kind of catastrophic events, everything must fall within a narrow range of variables. This specificity could potentially explain the Fermi paradox, the contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of contact or evidence for such civilizations. If the conditions for complex life are so exacting, it's possible that while the universe might be teeming with planets, only a tiny fraction of them may harbor complex life, and those that do could be separated by thousands of light years, making communication a monumental challenge. 
So while we continue our search for life beyond Earth, the rare Earth hypothesis offers a sobering perspective. The universe may be vast and full of wonders, but the conditions for complex life may be extraordinarily rare and specific. While the universe might be vast, the rare Earth hypothesis suggests that complex life might be a rare, precious gem.